Hey folks, thanks for tuning in again. Today we're bringing you a 500 subscriber special. Got our Ballistics Dummy Lab Zombie Head. I start off with some 22s, go to 380, 9 mil and 45. We'll see how long you last. Let's answer the age old question. Does 22 go through or does 22 bounce around? Looks like we got it right in the left eye socket if I'm not mistaken right there so we have an entry there do we have an exit we do not have an exit yeah we definitely got an entry wound look you can see right here where it came through the back of the eye socket I don't even see any bleeding at this point. It's kind of interesting. Definitely do not think you would have survived. Uh, definitely no exit wounds. Well, I guess we'll step on up to 380 now. All right, folks, upon a little further investigation, we have located that little 40 grain 22 round nose. It went in through the orbital bone right here it's right there, right behind the back of the eye socket. I don't know if y'all can see that. But there, it's our little 40 grain projectile. On to 380. Now on to our 380. Here we have our Beretta 85 BB. Let's see what it does. So here we have our entry wound, and as you can tell, it has split the skull all the way back to the exit wound. It has also come across here as well. This guy's not having a good day. People underestimate 380, but I don't know about y'all. I definitely don't want to get shot with it. All right, folks, up next is our 9 mil. Got a Beretta 92 FS. This is 115. Full metal jackets. Let's see what she does. <laughs> oh no, I hit where I was aiming. So we entered right below his left nostril, passed through. It would appear we went through the lower jaw and came out right at the base of his spine where his brain stem is right here. It'll be a little hard to see on camera, but sure enough, there's a tiny exit wound right there. You can see the cavitation inside from that nine. Well, on to bigger and possibly better things. Break out the old 45. All right, folks, next up we have our Remington R1 1911 and 45 ACP. This is just 230 grain ball ammo. Let's see what we can do. All right, as y'all seen, her ballistics gel dummy head has fell off. Let's pick him up and do a quick assessment. He's looking a little rough now. It would appear right in the nose, or nicked his nose. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of trauma to the head. It was already cracked before, but it's definitely cracked open now. And, uh,. See, this is our 45 exit wound. There's bone fragments everywhere. Yeah, he's not walking away. All right, folks, since our ballistics dummy is still kind of sort of intact, he's having a rough day. We're going to step up to some rifles we brought to the range with us. Mr. Brown here has got his AK-74, PSA AK-74. 
Let's see what we can do. After that, we're gonna step up to a 5.56. Let's go ahead and get into it. Well, at some point, this is gonna get harder and harder to analyze. That was also a shot on the cheekbone, like it just pierced the cheekbone. Right through, dang, like it caught the back of his ear. Oh yeah, it come right on out the back. It's like that 545 is actually starting to tumble a little bit because that's a pretty nice hole. All right, let's see if we can set them up in one piece and then we'll break out our 20 inch AR-15. Well, Bob's not holding together too well. So kinda we might losing, as well finish him off. He's kind of losing his mind. He's kind of losing his mind. So here I have my PSA 20 inch upper chrome hammer forged barrel with some screaming hot 5.56. I think we're about to blow his mind. Let's see what happens. Well, we're not doctors by any stretch of the imagination, but Bobby is not having a good time right now. And there you go. Thank you folks for tuning in with us. Please like and subscribe.